after Joe Biden's horrible debate performance last week, he has been doing a, or him and his team have been doing like the PR circuit trying to do damage control desperately, desperately. And he, you know, the, the unpaid Democrat shills, or perhaps they're paid, who knows, have been doing it as well. I think probably the funniest thing that I saw regarding this, I don't know if I'll be able to find it. Well, I can't find the tweet, but like I saw someone like try to turn um, like a Democrat shill trying to turn the whole Biden shouldn't run thing into like an ageism social, social justice thing where they were like, oh, come on. Biden's just an old man. Yeah, he's a bit slow sometimes. He doesn't have the best memory. He, he stutters his words, but he's an old man. It's normal for old men like this. And look, the attacks on him really just reek of ageism as if the point isn't that he's just old. Like for one, he's the fucking president of a country. It's not like a social justice thing about, you know, helping all people get jobs. He's the president of a country. It's a question of, is he fit to be the president of the fucking country? You know, there are various medical situations like being old and having Alzheimer's, for example, which can certainly make one unfit for being the president of a country. You know, when you start fumbling over your words, you start being visibly deteriorated mentally. You're probably not fucking fit to put the fate of hundreds of millions or billions of people in the case of the US in your hands. And they treat it like an individualized question of like social justice, like, you know, inclusion, rather than this fucking guy wants to be reelected to like the most powerful political position in the world when he's basically senile. It's not simply his age, because someone could potentially be 82 and not be like mentally degenerated as much as he is. They might be fit for the position, but Biden is very fucking visibly not that guy. For example, there's the Brazilian Brazilian president, Lula da Silva. He's, he's also quite old, but he has the perfect response to all the haters. Lula da Silva, he goes on stage with all of his 78 years and he tells the people this. The first lady knows that I have the energy of a 30-year-old and the lust of a 20-year-old. <laughs> Just compare this man and like how animated he is, how clearly mentally normal he is, or normal is, you know what I mean, like he has a normal level of mental ability rather than deteriorated mental ability. And compare this to Biden, you can clearly see that one of them is fit to be in the position that they're in and the other is not. Yeah, and it's yeah. nothing to do with individual social justice bullshit about, oh, this is discrimination or whatever. It's to do with the fact that one of them is like medically fucked up and the other isn't. One of them is medically unable to fully deal with all of the capacities of their role, which hundreds of millions of people, the fate of hundreds of millions of people will be like in their hands and the other isn't. Look at this, look at him. I don't know what he's saying. He sounds like he's drunk. Because he's speaking Brazilian, Portuguese. I don't, I don't understand the fucking word. But you can just tell by looking at him that it's better. If Biden tried to raise his voice like this, he'd have a fucking heart attack. Like, come on. That's a real president. That is a real president, if you ask me. So what did Joe Biden do? Well, Joe Biden showed us where this incredibly stupid mentality goes. Biden was asked in an NBC interview, which is originally slated to be an hour long, but was cut to 15 minutes because he's not literally not even fucking able to deal with an hour long interview anymore, given his deterioration of his health. He was asked, you know, what if you lose to Trump? What if you hand Trump the presidency as a result of the fact that people don't want to vote for you because you're too old and you're clearly not fit for the role physically and mentally anymore, if you ever were? His response, as long as I gave it my all. It's like he does not even perceive the consequences of this, the potential consequences. For him, it's all the same. You know, he's a rich guy. It doesn't really matter to him if Trump is elected. He's going to be fine. It's like a personal defeat more than anything. He doesn't give a shit about everyone else. He doesn't give a shit about anything else that could potentially result from this. The same sort of mentality is that people were trying to turn into like a social justice individualized like um, woke thing when they're like, come on, don't be ageist against Biden. Just because he's old doesn't mean he can't be the president. They just hate him because he's old. It's, it's so mean. Come on, an old man certainly can be the president. He needs to be the president so that he can show everyone that an old man can do it. Because to them, shit's really all, all the fucking same. I mean, to be fair to them, it is the same. It is very much the same, just not in the way they think. But to them, like, it doesn't really matter, you know? To them, it's all about, like, the aesthetics of who's in power, more so than what the person in power actually does. And you have Joe Biden, who is, like, this career racist politician, now, like, trying to brand himself as a progressive, or at least, I should say, 
his team tries to brand him as a progressive. I don't even think he knows where he is half the time. And they're comfortable voting for that, no matter what, no matter who or how. Then it's not comfortable voting for it. They're going to actively advocate for him to continue running when it would be as easy as him dropping out and like letting anyone else run. Like even fucking Kamala Harris send everyone to prison lady. She would get elected probably in a landslide just because she's not fucking Joe Biden. But for them, you know, you got to rally behind the Democrat, whoever they are. Doesn't matter how fucking old they are. You got to rally behind them. You got to defend them. Doesn't matter how visibly and obviously deteriorated they are. You got to be on their side with the most ridiculous justifications possible. Absolutely crazy that he is running, though. I don't want to pretend that if he wasn't senile, it would be much different because he's a piece of shit either way. It's just that the denial of it coming from his camp and a huge portion of the people who support the Democrats unequivocally is fucking in so stupid and i just wanted to you know basically take a huge poop on them and get some content out of it for my stream channel so there we go you know after the debate which i went over last week i absolutely cannot believe that this guy and his team are still going for it. and another thing that i saw that's really funny is that um apparently one of the reasons that he's continuing is because he's getting advice from his son hunter biden you know hunter biden who just recently got convicted of numerous felonies just like trump you know previously like the response to like the Republican accusations that Hunter Biden, the Hunter Biden thing is a big deal for Biden is like, well, it's his son. Nothing to do with him. And now Hunter Biden is fucking advising him politically. I'm not making that up, by the way. I'll show you the um, the article. I don't know if the Daily Beast is like a right wing website, but this is a largely true headline either way. Hunter Biden urges Dad Joe to keep going after the bait fiasco. President Joe Biden's family is urging him to stay in the race despite a catastrophic debate performance last week, with one of the loudest voices being that of his son Hunter, according to the New York Times. Oh, this originally comes from the New York Times. So he is being fucking advised by Hunter Biden now. That's just giving so much more ammo to the Republicans. Why would you let this guy anywhere near the president? Keep him as far away as possible. Unbelievable. I mean, if you want advice on like where to buy cocaine or where to get like high class prostitutes, you would go to Hunter Biden. You wouldn't get him for like advice on your political on your political campaign. This is just a disaster waiting to happen. Unbelievable. What a clown show. Politics is somehow getting worse and worse over time. I can't believe it. I can believe it. Welcome to capitalism, folks. Welcome to liberalism. Welcome to capitalism. This is their inevitable result. What you're seeing right now. What a joke. Everything's a fucking joke. The best thing that you can do is go and live on like um, a cabin in the woods like Ted Kaczynski. Just make sure that you don't write a manifesto about how much you hate gay people and send bombs to random people. That part, you can leave that out. But perhaps living in a, in a house in the woods isolated from everyone else thing might be a good idea. I don't know. You certainly would never have to read about this stuff ever again.